Bilal Sartes Tamar Resulullah. Welcome everybody to this presentation and uh, I hope all of you get benefit, maximum benefit from it. Uh, before starting, I would like to ask you one question. How many cups of coffee you drink every day? For example, for me, from one to two cups every day. What about you? Four cups, mashallah. And a reason. Two. Two cups. Okay. One to two. One to two. Okay. You know, millions every day, millions of adults consume huge cups of coffee every day. Why? Because they are seeking the effect of caffeine. But you know that there are some units are treating with caffeine. You know that? Not to stay awake, Martian Sahsaho, but to treat a major sleep disorder called apnea. So, what's the meaning of apnea? What it causes? What's its type? And what is the rule of caffeine to treat this apnea? This is my outline that I will talk about today, inshallah. The presentation is very, very simple. It will not take more than 10 minutes. So, first of all, what's the meaning of apnea? Apnea is defined as cessation of breathing for more than 20 seconds or cessation of breathing for less than 20 seconds if it's combined with bradycardia and oxygen desaturation. Bradycardia is considered when the heart beat is less than 30 beat per minute in units. So again, what's the meaning of apnea? Either cessation, that means stop of breathing for more than 20 seconds, or stop of breathing for less than 20 seconds if it's combined of, uh, uh, by bradycardia or oxygen desaturation. Uh, what are the causes of uh, apnea? The most common cause of apnea in ICU is prematurity. What is the meaning of prematurity? That means incomplete organization and connection of the respiratory neurons in the brain stem. But first, always investigate and rule out the following disorder. Uh, number one, infection like sepsis, especially in the first day of life. Any pathology which uh, could lead to increased intracranial pressure. Congestive heart failure that lead to impairment of oxygenation, hypocalcemia, hypoglycemia, hyponatremia or acidosis, anemia, gastroesophageal reflux, hypothermia or hyperthermia, or any drugs that transfer through the placenta like narcotics and beta blockers. But the first common cause is prematurity. What are the types of apnea? Actually, there are three types of apnea. Number one, central apnea, that means absence of schist wall movement and airflow. There is no schist wall movement, there is no airflow, and this is caused by decreased central nervous system stimuli and respiratory muscles. The second type is obstructive apnea, that means presence of schist wall movement, but no airflow. In central apnea, there is no chest wall movement, there is no airflow. But in obstructive apnea, there is chest wall movement, but there is no airflow. If both central apnea and obstructive apnea occurs during the same episode, it's called mixed apnea. So what are the types of apnea? Central apnea, obstructive, and mixed apnea. Let's talk about the rule of caffeine citrate injection to treat apnea. The first, uh, first of all, caffeine is belonged to the methyl xanthine group and is considered as alternative to aminophylline and theophylline. And also is considered as a drug of choice for treatment of apnea. Why? Number one, because it's associated with fewer side effects than aminophylline. It has therapeutic margin wider than of theophylline. Only know that theophylline, it has no therapeutic index. Also, caffeine it, uh, has been more evaluated in clinical trials compared with aminophylline and thiophylline. The mechanism of caffeine, uh, the mechanism of action of caffeine is unknown, but several mechanisms have been hypothesized. This include number one, stimulation of respiratory center. Number two, increased breathing frequency. Number three, increased response to hypercapnia. What is the meaning of hypercapnia? It means uh, elevate, uh, elevation of uh, carbon dioxide, level of carbon dioxide in the blood. Uh, number four, increase skeletal muscle tone. Number five, decrease diaphragmatic fatigue. And number six, decrease threshold to hypercapnia. The loading dose of caffeine citrate is 20 mg per kg per dose, either IV or BO. And the maintenance dose is 5 mg per kg per day, Q day uh, QD. Uh, the plasma half-life from 37 to 231 uh, hours, 
therapeutic level from 8 to 20 nanograms per ml and toxic level more than from 40 to 50 milligram per ml. You notice here there is wider therapeutic range. Uh, there are some possible adverse effects with caffeine, like failure to gain weight, hyperglycemia or hyper hypoglycemia, gastrointestinal disturbance like nausea, vomiting, abdominal distension, irritability, sleeplessness, cardiac arrhythmia, tachycardia, hypertension, and diuresis that lead to dehydration. This is regarding the presentation. But during I made this presentation, I found some funny things I like to share it with you that is caffeine health benefits in adults. For example, uh, in Japanese researches have shown that caffeine increases memory. And also caffeine is better than sleep when you need to alert while driving. Caffeine can stimulate hair growth on body men and women. Uh, also caffeine relieves post workout muscle pain by up to 48%. Also, researchers found that caffeine helps ward off Alzheimer's. Caffeine can relieve depression by increased dopamine in the brain and make you happy. Also, caffeine protects against eyelid spasms, against cataracts. Also, people who consume caffeine have lower risk of society. And the amazing thing that uh, there is some research has found caffeine may prevent skin cancer. On the other hand, there is disadvantages of caffeine, like too much consumption of caffeine can cause addiction. And it can cause nervousness. And also it can make your heart rate go faster because it's good stimulant and this is lead to increase the workload of the heart. It can cause ulcers and it can lead to dehydration. And thank you for listening. Thank you.